Hello guys, welcome back to Mufa Suket with Fusion 360 3D Modeling Practical Exercise Number 10. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel here. It will be helpful for us to growing up. In this uh, tutorial, I will create a 3D draft of lines. You can see the image here, and you can get this reference image from our site mufasuket.com. Okay, we start now. Open your Fusion software and click uh, Sketch, which is the top view. I will create a circle from uh, the center point with a diameter about 100. Enter and select uh, this circle object. Right click and change into a construction line. We create a circle from uh, this point with a diameter about 22. And we create a circle again in this point with a diameter about 12 and enter. Use a circular pattern to copy this uh, to circle. You can click a sketch here and click a circular pattern and select object. I will select uh, this uh, to circle and center point. We select uh, the center point. Number uh, quantity is about eight and okay. I will create a circle from uh, this point with a diameter about 22 and we connect by using tangent. You can click here tangent. Select uh, the circle and the circle and select the circle and the circle. Okay. Right click and okay. Select uh, this uh, circular pattern tab. Right click and delete. Next, we copy this uh, circle. You can click sketch here. Use the circular pattern again. Object, select uh, the circle object. And center point in this center point. Quantity is about X and OK. You can select uh, this uh, pattern icon. Right click and delete. And use a trim command to cut uh, this uh, circle object. OK, we cut uh, this circle object. And cut uh, insert here. Okay, right click and okay. Select uh, this circle object and delete. Okay, use the extrude command. We extrude uh, this face about 10 point. Enter and we create circle from this face from the center point with uh, diameter about 64. Uh, enter and extrude uh, this uh, face to the top here about 26 and we create a circle again from this face from the center point with a diameter about 62 enter and extrude uh, this face to the top here about 4 point and enter I will use a violet command to violet uh, this edge about uh, 1 point and violet uh, this edge about 10 point and enter we violet uh, this uh, edge about 0 0.5 and enter okay you can see the result here next we create a circle you can select uh, this face we create circle from uh, this uh, point with uh, diameter 12 and we create circle again from this center point with diameter about 10 give the distance from uh, this uh, center point to this center point about 25 and enter and use a circular pattern to copy this uh, to circle from uh, this center point with a quantity about 3 and ok you can select uh, this uh, icon uh, pattern Right click and delete. We create a circle from the center point with diameter about uh, 56. Enter and then you can trim this uh, circle object and we trim in here. Okay, last we trim in here. Okay. Right click and OK. We extrude uh, this face. You can click uh, this arrow and move uh, to the bottom here. And OK. And we active uh, sketch 4. We extrude again this uh, face. OK. 
about seven point and enter we extrude again we can select uh, this uh, face and move uh, this cursor to the bottom here and okay okay I will use a violet command. We violet uh, this uh, edge, this uh, edge. Okay, you can select uh, this edge and select this edge. At the last we select uh, this edge and this edge. We violet about uh, two point and enter. Okay, next I will apply a uh, material into this uh, object. You can change uh, models into render here and click uh, appearance. Okay, I will use a uh, stylish styles and use the uh, here setting. You can uh, click uh, this material and drop and drag into this uh, model. Okay, next we try to render uh, this object. You can click uh, here to render uh, this object in canvas. Okay, click here in canvas render. Close here. You can see here. I will edit the material effect. You can click uh, here uh, appearance. Click in here twice. And advance. We edit uh, the roundness to this point. Apply and cancel. Close. And you can uh, rotate uh, this object. Okay to make a uh, base view select uh, this material and move this uh, to this face keep ok and close and we waiting for a rendering until finish you can see the progress in here at uh, this point uh, excellent and this is a final point for uh, the rendering process Okay, I think it's enough today for Fusion 360 3D modeling practice exercise number 10. If you have any question about this tutorial, you can comment below this video. And see you next time in uh, Fusion 360 3D modeling practice exercise number 11.